I'm glad you're here. I'm just about to replace a nozzle on this Artillery Sidewinder X1. The first thing I do is heat up the hot end to 10 degrees hotter than I normally print with. So we print at 230. So I'm going to turn this on to 240C. These are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a socket wrench with a 932nd socket. You're going to need something to hold the heat block. I have this tool here, but you can also use this tool. Metal wire brush and a nylon brush and a chicken skewer. And of course your replacement nozzle. We have achieved temperature on the hot end. So on this artillery, the first thing we're going to do is take off the silicone sock. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and unload the filament. Okay, now I'm going to use this tool to hold the heat block, but you can also use these if you don't have this. I'm going to take my 930 seconds ratchet socket holder and we are going to remove the existing nozzle. You want to continue to hold the heat block while you unscrew the nozzle so that it doesn't move. If it moves, it can loosen the connection at the top of the throat, up here, right at the very top, and you can get a leak. Chicken skewer. After I take out the nozzle, the next thing I do is I run the chicken skewer down through just to make sure that there is nothing left inside the throat. Wire brush, metal wire brush. That I just clean off the bottom of the heat block, make sure there's no plastic, kind of try to get up into just a little bit of the threads in here, clean it all off. If there's any on the sides, if you have any kind of leak, this will take it right off. And the nylon soft brush is for this. See all this stuff in the fan? Takes it right off. Also works on the front fan here too. Now we are going to insert the new nozzle. Grab our heat block holder and insert the new nozzle. Make sure you get your threads correctly. If it's not going in smoothly, do not force it. You will wind up with a nozzle that you can't get out and a completely fracked heat block and they're no fun to replace. So you wanna get all the way up in there. Make sure it's nice and tight all the while holding the heat block so that it does not move. Put your sock back on and always, always, always re-level your bed because this is a new nozzle, so it's going to be a little slightly tiny bit longer than the one that was worn down that you just replaced. So last step, always re-level your bed and you're ready to go.